And Ken Kratzer for Sons of the American Legion Radio. We're at the Army-Navy Media Day and have a chance to talk with the Athletic Director at the U.S. Military Academy, Mike Buddy. Mike, good to see you. What is it like to be 10 days away from a real Army-Navy game uh, right at the Meadowlands? Yeah, well, first of all, it's great to see you, Ken, and, and thanks for being here. Thanks for all you do for Army football. Um, it's exciting, right? I mean, my first year as the Athletic Director, we went through this in, in Philadelphia, and I remember kind of looking around, taking it all in. And then last year was so unusual. None of this happened for obvious reasons. And so the fact that we're here 10 days out from a, a beautiful venue, we're going to have over 80,000 fans here to watch Army Navy um, get after it like they always do and, and battle, I'm sure, to the last play of the game like they always seem to do. Um, it's exciting. And, uh, you know, with the, with the bowl game, you know, on our, on our brains beyond that, uh, a lot of planning going on, but uh, looking forward to knocking all the details out of the way so we can we can actually enjoy a, a heck of a Division One college football game. Got to ask you about last year's game at West Point. You and the team put it together with the Navy uh, colleagues to have a, a, just an extraordinary day. Three TV networks here. The president, the midshipmen, three, four thousand midshipmen came down by came up by bus for the game, and then a hard-fought uh, game. What, what stood out about last year's game? Well, certainly um, the game, right? I mean, to, to shut out a team like Navy uh, in this rivalry um, was, was, is exceptional. And for it to be to win the Commander-in-Chief trophy uh, yet again was, was extra special. It also happened to be my 50th birthday that day. So, so it was a great day for the Buddy family all around. Um, you know, the thick fog, the, the, the effort of both teams on the – I mean, it was a typical Army-Navy game. Crazy weather. Um, Hard-fought competition, but to do that at West Point, um, you know, for the first time since 1943 to host a game, although under extraordinary circumstances, to your point, only only the brigade and the corps in attendance, um, it was unique, and, and, you know, it's really special to be a, a part of that. You know, I think those kids will talk about, you know, when they're in their 70s, 80s, and 90s, that they were at the game back in 2020 at Mikey Stadium uh, in the fog, and that'll be a special memory for all of us. Absolutely. You've been working very hard on a special project to uh, to uh, rebuild uh, Mikey Stadium, to uh, refit it, to work on the East Stands. How is that going? What does it look like? So it's going extremely well. So Chris Wood, who, who runs our development office uh, for the athletic department, has had a, amazing success. He and his staff, uh, we're trying to raise about $100 million to make this a reality. And we're, we're at about $75 million right now. We think, we think we'll be to, to 85 or 90, hopefully by halftime of the football game on, on sat next Saturday. Uh, but it's been great. I mean, the, the long gray line has stepped up once again with just some phenomenally um, generous donations to get us to $75 million or so right now. And, and still a lot left out there to get, but we're pretty confident that it's going to be a reality and we, we hope to have that completed ribbon cut and everybody in there for the fall of 2025. Very good. Just a final thought about this year's team, some big wins, uh, uh, winning at Georgia State to open the year, winning, beating Miami at home, uh, the Air Force game obviously. And uh, what has it been like for uh, you just watching this team evolve and grow? So, you know, the first thing that jumps out at me is the our firsties. You know, th these four captains who are here today representing this team uh, are phenomenal leaders, just high integrity, high character young men. They've held each other accountable. Um, and we haven't had a lot of blowouts, right? So so we've found ways to win these games. You're thinking of, of Air Force, Western Kentucky, who I think is going to be the Conference USA champions. You know, those games that come down to the wire, you've got to have that grit and tenacity that I think our seniors have shown and the, the younger players have, have really kind of taken after their lead and we're finding ways to win football games and you know it's great to be sitting here today at eight and three but we all know that that number nine is going to be the toughest one to get and the most important one very good mike buddy the athletic director of the united states military academy former new york yankee pitcher great to see you and uh, best wishes from everybody at the american legion thanks so much ken appreciate it our pleasure this is ken kratzer at army navy media day